Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. Isaac looks like I feel. When life keeps kicking you in the balls, you keep on taking on challenge runs. But at least I have chicken. Yes, I've failed this challenge several times. Like all great challenges in life, I keep smiling like a lunatic and trying again. So, first thing we've got is spider dudes, spitting spiders, and spiders. It's all about the spiders here in the cellar. But I got a key. Which is going to help out in the long run. Because I am sure that I will find plenty of free money and I will be able to use that to buy a candle or something. And that's going to cement my victory. Fill it in my bones. In my bones. Also, I've got several bombs now. So, I really could look for the secret room. Problem with that being, I have no freaking clue where it would be on this floor. So, I might want to save it for the next floor. Ah, what the heck. We'll do one. It wasn't there. Okay, saving the rest for the next floor. Where I'm sure to find lots of swell secrets and dented rocks. And Famine is going to drop, for me, a cube of meat. Which will come in very much handy for blocking these bullets. Which vexed me so... See? That one vexed the crap out of me. It vexed me right in the face. And it didn't even care. How rude. This guy is dropping flies at a ridiculously accelerated rate. Like, crazy. And he didn't even kill that one, he just kind of pushed it to the side. I haven't seen that before. Or maybe I have and I just don't remember. It's possible that I just haven't seen it recently. This phase, not so much trouble. Okay, there's my cube of meat, and there's my hit points back, and we good. Cellar 1 did not prove to wreck my shit. And we even got the basement for our shoddy performance, so that's slow. Good. And it's a good thing those rocks were there to block those lazy bullets. Because this room is kind of a mess. Let's just um, try to take it easy here. No sense taking unnecessary risks, which are quite abundant here. Okay. I need to start clearing these guys out. Now we're getting somewhere. That was an awful lot of those gusher dudes for one room. I'm not sure I've seen quite that many at once before. Or at least I haven't often. See previous line of statements. And these guys. Whoa. Yeah, I just kind of need to make sure these guys blow up somewhere where they don't hurt me. This should... just about do it. And Green drops a troll -o -lo, lo lo bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Get them while they get the good. Because at least in the basement and or cellar, the um, gauntlet rooms aren't too difficult to take care of, unless I make a careless mistake. I've been known to make a careless mistake or two, or maybe three. 
certainly never more than that. Drippy meat. Drippy meat. Ah, and there was my mistake. Unfortunate. I'll save that heart until after I take another hit. Hey, a tinted rock. We were just talking about those earlier. I don't like these guys. They are on fire. And not in the good way like you like. Might as well get this. And some money, and a spirit heart. Or a soul heart if you prefer. Some blast assists. Ain't fooling anyone. And I can even take out that poop. If I get one more penny, I just might risk the shop. And if I get a whole slew of them, I'll definitely risk the shop. Secret room? Secret room. Wow, three cents. You broke the bank on that one. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and try the shop. I might get a steam sale item. I did not. Kinda want that spirit heart, but five cents is a lot of money at this stage in the game. Alright, I'll go ahead and grab that. The basement's too early to be micromanaging. Or is it? In fact, it is. guys up. Maybe I can find a nickel and a penny before I leave this level. Get myself some sweet compass action. I would almost have to get Pageant Boy for that to happen. And I'm not entirely sure that I would like that. Kind of a lame item. So instead, let's just focus on Larry Jr. Blue Champion Larry Jr. They could drop some things for me. Maybe those things will be money. Will they be money? Will all be right with the world? Find out now. Good shot. And good. Wow. I feel like there's a lesson to be taken away from this. I'm not sure what it is, but there's one in there. I'll just let this sink in, and it's sinking, and it's sinking, and it's sinking, and we're good. And screw it. I'll take the spirit heart as well. I could be one heart away from winning and kick myself for not getting it later. Down we go. How delightful a present, it's poop. Curse of the Labyrinth. Does something with something and then something, I don't know. Extra, couple of extra rooms. No, it's uh, a double floor, okay. Yeah. And since there is no item room to be found, and we're pretty much just going through these to find extra money and keys and bombs. But again, the caves is fairly easy, so I don't have a problem spending some extra time here building up items for later. What I do have a problem with is not being able to get a clear shot on this guy. But we're good. We got it. Wow, that's a lot of double flies. Those things are more dangerous than you think they are, because when you take out the double fly form, it splits off at an odd angle. 
And unless you're expecting it, you usually try to dodge to the side, and that's when the fly gets you. This one's a piece of cake, though. Since I can fly and all. Excellent. Whoa. This one, a little trickier. Just because I seem to have trouble remembering how to dodge simple patterns on many occasions. Or how to hit anything, apparently. Come on, there we go. And some tiny fistulae. Not too big of a deal here. If you kill them over the pit, they don't drop the grub worms. I'm really not that competent, so I'll just kill them wherever I can. Sometimes it happens to be over the pit, and in these cases, the peasants rejoice. Yay! Um, secret room? I got the bombs. Not the secret room. Really, it's an extra large floor, so it could be just about anywhere. Finding a blood bank would be nifty. That doesn't look overly likely to happen, though. I think my cube of meat took that thing out. If so, good on it. And the uh, high attack but low defense turrets. Much easier to kill. Slightly harder to dodge, but not much. Whoa, I'm gonna get myself killed if I keep this up. That gets me a little room to maneuver. Good use of it. And that was completely unintentional, but it worked out. And we have one of these. I'll take it. Free item, damage up. Cool, cool. Whoa. Hey, that damage up brought us into Blood Tears territory. Always a good sign. And I think I will go ahead and do the curse room, even though I will lose spirit hearts. I will only lose half a spirit heart. Because flying in and out only gets you hit once. And it could be good stuff. That wasn't good stuff. That was horrible stuff. What a waste of a half a spirit heart. I regret everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's too many bullets to be lobbing at me. Freaking disembodied eyeless heads that shoot bullets. It's like, you know, typical. Everywhere you go, there they are. And there I am, and there I go. And there goes my half a spirit heart. I'll be needing something to drop one anytime now. I am really building up my uh, money though, going through all of these rooms. Which is good, because... You know, I pretty much have to rely on the shops, and there's only one to carry me through both of these levels. 
the chances of it being greed are fair to decent. Or fair to good. Luck down. Luck you. That might have cost me the game right there. Having less luck. Because blaming all the bad things that happen to me on luck is... Um... Not beneath me. Surprisingly enough. I will stoop to blaming luck on all of my shortcomings. Don't think I won't. I'll do it. Well, oh, rubby, wubby, worm, helios. Can I get a nickel? Can I get a nickel? Can I get a, any awesome item that breaks the game for me? That was nearly a nickel right there. And there's the last. Now I just have to make it out of here alive. And the enemies are doing the work themselves by jumping on the spikes. Now is the time when we celebrate by collecting a spirit heart and going to the shop. I sense greed in my future. Prove me wrong, game. Prove me wrong. 50-50 shot. I'd say. Place your bets now. Not greed. But our 15 cent item is Mom's Purse. Which lets us carry two trinkets, but I don't even have one trinket. So, let's just grab the spirit heart and move on. Slightly disappointing. And I'm calling it now, the next shop will definitely be greed. Which means that after that we'll only have one shop left, but I get ahead of myself. As I do, from time to time. We Things to kill. Shoot them them all. But don't shoot them all. That's where I get all of my tacky 80s stuff. Why not? Boom. Pennies scattered all about. Hell to breakfast. Who we fighting first? Pestilence will get our second cube of meat. We'll... Ah! We'll flee in terror from the shots that Hound and Harry. Hound and Harry, a children's book. Illustrated by that guy that draws things, starring Don Knotts. This joke kind of derailed itself. I ran out of steam. Which is ironic because I've been using the crap out of their sails lately. Let's do something about this boss instead of dicking around spouting nonsense. The only thing that should be spouted during this fight is green orbs of explosion. And even those, I'd rather they didn't. That wasn't horrible. Second cube of meat. We got Meathead, which is my unofficial name for that. And we have Gertie. Not a horrible boss when you can fly, unless of course they stick you in a room with no cover. In which case, it is in fact a horrible boss. 
so, um, sucks to be me, I guess. How have I not gotten shot yet? I have not got a clue. Ah. I am not going to- ooh! That big green pustule could possibly shoot Gertie itself. Yeah, like that. Neat. I don't know how I'm dodging these shots. Maybe my frame rate is low and I don't notice it. I'm not gonna complain though. And there's a deal with the devil. Which could give me just what I need. But it's not going to. After the last time, I'm not really sure I want Brimstone again. So I'm going to... Heh, 13 cents, 13 bombs, and 13 keys. Yeah, I'm not getting Brimstone. Or am I? Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Eh, I'm not gonna do it. Too much risk on later levels. I seriously nerfed Brimstone at some point during one of the updates. <coughs> Not sure exactly when it was, but it used to be a game-breaking item like the candle or the knife. I haven't unlocked the knife yet, but if I can actually get through this particular challenge, I will have unlocked the knife. And then we'll see who's laughing zero. We'll see who's laughing all the way to the bank. The blood bank. With crappy Steven Seagal one-liners. I already regret not getting Brimstone. This room would be done if I'd had. <sighs> well... The problem with the Brimstone is, it's not great for bosses, really, anymore. Again, it used to be. Alright, this pill was uh, locked down, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't want to take another one of those. Hey, an Eternal Heart! I will save that for later, definitely. Assuming I don't forget it's there and leave it, as I am prone to doing. Beat head pulling his weight. That was a resilient brain. Okay. Wheel of Fortune drops me a slot machine. I predict greed. That was kind of inevitable. I've got good damage output though. So. I... If, if I could just dodge, you know, I'd be in a really good position right now. <coughs> Alright. Next shop, I'll be able to buy whatever the hell I want. And if I find a beggar, I'll be able to do something with that. And pills. I have already had a luck down pill, so this is probably going to be bad. Okay, it wasn't bad, per se. It wasn't good. Do not let me forget to pick up that Eternal Heart before moving on. Hey, a Blood Bank! Not gonna help me if I can't find some extra hearts to use for... a buffer. Ditto this guy, really. Not gonna blow him up. We're all civilized, rational adults here. Plus, I don't want spiders. Ah! These freaking guys. Let's let the spikes do some of the work here. Good enough. And you. Piss off. Looks like I am firmly on my way to the boss. 
Is there any reason why I wouldn't just go straight to the boss? Maybe I should try to find a secret room. This looks like a good candidate. That wasn't it. I'll go swing by the curse room too. Now, when it comes to the curse room, if I happen to be handed a broomstone for free without having to pay, I guess I'll take that. But the odds are low to none. So I'm not going to hold my breath. Guts rolling about willy-nilly without adult supervision. What is the world coming to? Eh, don't need that. Ah, these guys. Ooh, a second eternal heart. You know what this means? It means I can just grab both eternal hearts right now and have my extra heart container without having to get to the next floor. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll take this, and then I'll go back and grab that. And I've got exactly one half of a heart sitting around, which I can use for the blood bank. Surprise, surprise, I can see it in your eyes. It didn't explode in one try. Oh wait, there's another heart down here. Okay, two more tries after this. And nothing of use in there. Back to the blood bank. Back to the dawn of man. It was a primitive time when men traded their sweat and tears for pennies on the dollar. Or something. I'm not an anthropologist, so I, I might not have my story straight. To the boss, to the boss, to the boss, boss, boss. Oh, and or yikes. And what's this room? Not too much of a problem, it would seem. And up here, we have another interesting chest that I can open up for fun and profit. But mostly just fun. Because when do I ever get a profit out of these things? Prove me wrong, chest. Prove me wrong. Another pill? Range up. Finally. Some good luck. And this was a net gain. The Fallen. Well, Zero is hunting. Hunting for me. That's what, ha that's what you call it when you get the Fallen. Especially if you get it in Shoal and you fight like five up in a row as tends to happen. Crap. I am not doing great in this fight. I'm not even doing adequate in this fight. I keep running into the four-way laser. Can one of these guys blow up, maybe? The one on the bottom seems a likely candidate. I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get my third cube of meat. But, can't win them all. <coughs> Ouija board, spectral tears. That is handy if you haven't gotten anything else that gives you spectral tears, so 
And since I've already got flying, that's gonna provide me with a lot of extra cover. So, reasonably good find. And there's an arcade over there. First I wanna go to the shop. This is not good. You know, I could have been finding um, these spike rooms on the last level, but luckily I didn't. And now, we'll just be over here, slowly taking these guys out. I got enough damage upgrades that I can do this. What here? Judgment! Yes! Hello, little buddy. You gonna give me something good? I maybe should have saved that for a devil room, but I was just so excited to find it that I didn't think of that. 9 volt! Hey, getting the 9 volt reminds me, I have no spacebar item. And I still have no spacebar item. Portable slot machine, eh? Well, thanks, game. You're just the bee's knees. Might as well use it, I guess. I don't have a hell of a lot else to do. Oh right, there's an actual arcade where the machine can give me decent prizes. Like pills and cards and things. Whoa. And one more chance for this curse room. Two spirit hearts. Excellent. And some pills. Don't know what this pill does. It gave me a tears down. And this is a luck down, which we don't want. Wheel of Fortune completely irrelevant at this point. And guts. Do 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 you have it, guts. We'll just pop these gut puppies and then it will be time to visit the arcade. Since I have luck down, I'm not expecting great things here. But you never know. So if something interesting happens, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll cut it out. Not by pausing the video, but just cutting it out and editing. That way I don't get... wait a minute... That way I don't get some ridiculous, uh... desync. No! Well, so much for that. Maybe I won't have to cut out anything. Maybe I'll just give up and call it a day. Un freaking leaveable. This is what happens when you make plans. Yeah, you guys. Screw you guys. I've got spectral tears. I have nothing to fear. But fear itself. And freaking bears, man. I've almost run my truck into a bear before, out in the middle of nowhere, in the woods, visiting my dad. That's what happens when you live out in the middle of the mountain slash forest. The mountainous forest. It's the risk you run. But at least you don't have to deal with all those freaking people everywhere. Okay, a couple more tries at the blood bank. A couple more tries on my belt mounted slot machine. Which is giving me very little to work with. Okay, shut my mouth. I'm hoping this thing will drop me some hearts. At least it's fast. I'll give it that. Ah, 
that fly was not practical to my purposes. Hey, another one. Great. That'll do me all the good in the world. Eh, screw it. Let's just move on with our lives. I don't know how they calculate the odds of one of those things blowing up into a blood bag. <coughs> but there may be a gambler's fallacy at work here. In that, playing the same one over and over again may not, in fact, mean doodly squat. I'm surprised I dodged those as long as I did. We got a mom fight coming up. And lately, I've been sucking out loud on the mom fights. Not sure why. Not sure why my skills at the mom fight have deteriorated so rapidly in such a short amount of time. But hopefully, it won't be too awfully bad. Seriously? That didn't even hit the slot machine? What the hell, game? Yeah. Hey, a lucky toe! Now! Now we are cooking! I feel like I have a chance now. A good chance. Now I can get that freaking stuff. Also, those pills might have changed. See, that was a luck down before, but now it's also a luck down. So, I got some inaccurate information there. Good to know. Yep. I feel great. Sometimes when life gives you lemons, it didn't really give you lemons. It actually gave you a lemon-colored rock. It was shaped like a lemon, and then you squeeze it, and it breaks your friggin' hand. Let's just make this as rapid as possible. Yeah, another luck down pill. Hey, awesome. Good job. Nice guy. Be sure to treasure that for never. Well, the luck toes finally paying off, though. Or, paying off, period. Yeah, I was just telling someone earlier today that you never get the luck toes, so... I guess I feel stupid about that now. But I feel good about that. And that's the important thing. And also, there's another blood bank that I can try to exploit. So, let's go do that now. Plenty of money. We'll just keep using this until I get some hearts to drop. It is quicker. Super exciting, I know. But, this is part of the strategy of the game. It's a viable strategy that must not be ignored. Must not be ignored. Don't ignore me. What's this pill? Tears down. Don't want it. Oh, I know what it is. It's the luck foot that they were thinking of, not the luck toe. So, that's probably the mistake I was making there. Lucky foot might change the pills. I will do this research as it becomes available. Here's a mysterious one. Balls of steel. Good. I've got spirit hearts right off the screen now. Which, let's face it, I needed them. Come on, hearts. Don't let me down. Don't disappoint me. 
feeling a little disappointed. Can I get a what what of the non anal variety? Range up, we like. Whoops. There we go. Five more chances to get some hearts here. And done. Outstanding. And I don't even know if I've managed to waste some health here. There's no telling anymore. Let's just kill the monsters and have done with it, so I can get on with the rest of the game. Uh, any minute now. We'll be dashing forth. Okay, I wish I hadn't gotten that whole heart like that. Or, maybe I did, I don't know. Anyway, the point is, I could have had an extra play on a thing. You blow up. Drop a heart. Yes. Two more tries. Sigh. This is eating up a valuable time that I don't have. Except that I kind of do. Sheesh. I think I've worn every last ounce of luck out of the lucky toe. I wonder if this lucky toe thing has anything to do with the sour toe cocktail, which is a thing I read about recently that may or not may not have anything to do with actual luck based things. Anyway, it's a cocktail with a pickled human toe in it. Seems a little, um, overboard. But that's just me. Maybe I'm just being prudish. Or maybe weirdos are sucking down cocktails with human freaking toes in them. That's also possible, possible a Even I have my limits when it comes to new and exciting booze. Alright. These guys are pissing me the hell off right now. Like, big time. <sighs> Crap's sake. Dare I? Should I even bother? Maybe this slot machine is completely tapped out. I don't know if that's possible, but... It feels like it might be likely. Okay, let's try to cheese this boss. So far, so good. So far, so very good. Except for that part screwed me a little bit, but look how much damage we've gotten done. I need to do something about all of the enemies on the screen, though, because I don't want to be killed by a shit ton of enemies on the screen. That's the last thing I want to have happen. First thing I want to have happen is that I I stop screwing up, I start winning like a winner, unlike what I'm doing now, which is losing like a loser. Crap! I suck. I'm sad that I suck. Oh. 
Maybe I should have just done this right from the beginning. Without trying to use shortcuts. What the hell even hit me there? I didn't see shit. Okay. This actually is pissing me off now. Freaking game. Something about the mom fight. I just can't quite seem to get it nailed down. And Curse of Darkness. Curse of Darkness, Curse of Darkness, Curse of Darkness. Hi, I'm the Binding of Isaac. And I want my players to die and be miserable. Hey, forums appearing directly behind me. Almost certainly out of pure spite. Curse you, tapeworms! And curse those tapeworms, too. In fact, curse all of them. Curse them with a hellacious curse word, like... Fart and underpants. We're getting risque now. Underpants! Hey, red guys! Lots of them. And I'm moving too fast to really hover over the walls. Okay, I kind of got it, but... Big Boy's doing a lot of the work here. Except not really. Because reasons. Stork chocolate reasons? Awesome. Never eat those if you have a loose tooth. Or exposed roots. Or any dental problems, really. This is dangerous. For some reason it worked out. That bought me some leeway. Okie dokie. This is not a f good room. This is not a good room, this is not a fun room. This is a terrible room. Why am I even in here? I don't deserve this. I deserve happy fun rooms filled with hearts and money. And free items. I don't remember which way I was going either. Also, hiccups. These things are not supposed to be able to zero in on me like that. Hiccups. starting to hurt too. Damnation.
Too little, too late. <laughs> Yeah, well, you try concentrating with diaphragms, spasms. <coughs> <coughs> that went downhill fast. I might never beat this, but I'm gonna keep trying till I, till I do. Until next time, this is your rapidly annoying building thing. I don't. I don't know. This is Rosser. Take a drink. Now the hiccups stop. Nope, there they go.